Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another SMC technical training video. During this video, we will show you how to use an Ethernet IP JXC91 controller in step mode for closed loop operation with a PLC. During the video, we will show you the equipment, software, and steps required. In the end, we will have a PLC driving an electric actuator in step mode. Let's get started. You'll need a PC, software, and Ethernet connectivity for communication. Before starting this video, be sure to check out the JXC91 hardware setup video first. Then, watch our JXC91 controller setup video. Finally, make sure to review the PLC IP and Ethernet module setup video. With the JXC91 and electric actuator configured with the PLC, we'll concentrate further on step mode programming. Our status and control data inputs and outputs are based upon JXC91 programming parameters. See the operation manual to review the bit assignments. Input and output rungs for the PLC programming are built to share information with the ACT software. We're going to take a closer look at the latter rung programming now. To see the similarities, the PLC and ACT software programs are running concurrently in this video. The upper rung outputs from the PLC to the controller tell the actuator what to do. These commands manage the actuator movements with PLC aliases. We see this with drive, then down the rung to each parameter. The logic for the 64 positions that the controller can be programmed for are from this part of the rung. To access them, enter the position to go to, like 45 as an example, and the additive weights are then indicated on the rung. Let's use an absolute position that is already programmed, so choose 3. We can see the rung indicating 1 plus 2, our position choice. So the next rung are the inputs to the PLC, or the outputs from the controller. This is feedback about what the device is currently doing, which we can track down the rung from busy, through the others, and over to COM alarm. Before any position moves can be done, we must turn the servo on and complete the homing routine. Our status line shows us from the PLC that once we turn the servo on, we get an active servo and ready flag back from the JXC91. Then turn the setup bit on, which starts the actuator and indicates busy. Now we see the set on and in position outputs are on. Next, turn the setup bit off. Now let's practice a positioning move. With position 3 selected, send the actuator there by activating drive. Notice as before, once it is moving, it is busy. Then it is in position once it finishes the absolute move at 100%. Finally, toggle drive off and the JXC91 shows it is in position 3. Now let's try a move with a hold. Pick your next position, we chose 0, and turn the drive bit on. The actuator starts on its way until we turn the hold bit on. Movement stops and nothing else will change until the hold is released. Turn the hold bit back off and the position zero move restarts and finishes. Finally, let's track an alarm. If we turn the servo off and then turn the drive bit on, we can see the alarm in both the rung and act status. Within our act program, we see the alarm code and we cannot drive while the servo is off. So, go back to the rung, turn the drive bit off, turn the reset on, and the alarm is cleared. Turn the servo back on to start making position moves again. With all this set up, your PLC can now manage the electric actuator moves in step mode with the JXC91. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our next Ethernet IP JXC91 video where we will show you how to program numeric mode actuator movements.